Hello and welcome back to uh, my lecture series. My name is Dr. Zia. So we are going to talk about today uh, the company's strategy, a planned strategy or reactive strategy. So we, we would be talking about different types of strategies today. So a company's strategy is partly planned and partly reactive. So based on the company's experiences, know-hows, resources, strengths, weaknesses, and competitive capabilities, uh, the organization goes for either a planned strategy or it goes for a reactive strategy. The actual company strategy is composition of planned strategy plus reactive strategy. The planned strategy is defined as the new initiatives plus ongoing strategy features continued from prior periods. The reactive strategy is defined as adaptive reactions to changing circumstances. So composition or combination of these two make the actual company's strategy. Okay, what are the hows that define a firm's strategy? There are few hows which I'm going to present in front of you, which define company's strategy or firm's strategy. Number one, how to grow the business. Number two, how to please the customers. Number three, how to outcompete rivals. Number four, how to respond to changing market conditions. Number next, how to manage each functional piece of the business and develop needed organizational capabilities. And the last one, how to achieve strategic and financial objectives. All right. The next point in this lecture is understanding a company's strategy, what to look for, as a, a strategic analyst or strategy uh, physician, you should look for these aspects to analyze an organizational or organizations or company's strategy, whether a company is healthy organization or a company is a sick organization. You should, you should look for these uh, aspects. Number one, you check out what are the actions the company has taken to diversify. Number two, the actions to outcompete rivals. Whether the organization has taken some actions to outcompete rivals or not. Next, the company has taken some responses to changing external circumstances. Next, actions to alter geographical coverage. Next, actions to merge or acquire rivals or rival companies. Next, what actions are taken by the company to form strategic alliances and collaborative partnerships. Next, we will be talking about what are the efforts to pursue new opportunities or defend against threats. We also look for how functional activities are managed. We would also look for actions to strengthen capabilities. So these are various aspects we need to look at for uh, checking out how to understand company's strategy and this, these all points make the pattern of actions that define a strategy of an organization. All right, let me put an example of uh, McDonald's. What are the strategic priorities of McDonald's? I would request you to pause this video and type below. What do you think the strategic priorities of McDonald. All right, the strategic priorities of McDonald's are continued growth, providing exceptional customer care, remaining an efficient and quality producer, developing people at every organizational level, sharing best practices among all units, reinventing the fast food concept by fostering innovation in the menu, facilities, marketing, operation, and technology. All right, so uh, I have a small question. What is a strategic plan? What is a strategic plan? A strategic plan is having three prong aspects. It tells you where firm is headed. It tells you the short and long-term performance targets. 
it tells you the action approaches to achieve targeted results a com comprehensive strategy so first where firms firm is headed what does it mean it means the strategic vision and business mission of the organization the short and long term performance targets what does it mean it means the strategic and financial objectives of an organization third action approaches to achieve targeted results what does it mean it means a comprehensive strategy of an organization when we talk about strategy implementation and execution we say that strategy implementation and execution is an action oriented make it happen process involving people management developing competencies and capabilities budgeting policy making motivating cultural culture building or developing organizational culture and leadership now we would uh, move towards who performs the strategic management tasks we include strategic corporate level executives managers of subsidiary and business units financial uh, or functional area managers finance managers marketing managers operating managers so here is my next question and the last question to you what are the benefits of strategic thinking i tell you there are multiple benefits of strategic thinking and strategic approach to managing it guides entire firm regarding what it is we are trying to do and to achieve it helps making managers more alert to winds of change new opportunities and threatening developments in the market or in the globe it unifies numerous strategy related decisions and organizational efforts it creates a proactive atmosphere it pro it promotes the de development of an evolving business model focused on bottom line success it helps you providing by providing basis for evaluating competing budget requirement and lastly but not least it helps a company prepare for the future so be on strategic thinking and a strategic a strategic approach and keep a strategic approach to managing my name is dr zia if you like this video please subscribe like and share i thank you very much and see you in my next lecture